Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So Sony recently released a statement saying that um, due to content licensing arrangements with content providers, you will no longer be able to watch any of your previously purchased discovery content and the content will be removed from your video library. All right, so this really got me thinking. So that means my games, my DLCs, uh, game updates, stuff like that, that could be removed from my library like whenever they want. So I think it's time to back up some of my stuff. All right. So here I am at my PlayStation 4. I think the first thing you need to do, go into its settings. Okay. And turn off your internet. All right. You don't want to accidentally update your system firmware. All right. If you haven't turned on your PlayStation 4 for a long time. All right. You don't want to be on the latest firmware. And then go to system. And then system information, you can see my system software is at 9.00. That's where I want to be. Anything above this version, um, I don't think you can run custom code yet. So uh, you won't be able to back up your stuff. Okay. And then go to automatic downloads. Make sure all this is ticked off. All right. You don't want to automatically update your system files. All right. Don't, don't just make sure these are all checked off. Disabled. All right. This is important. Okay. And if you're like if you're not on 9.00 if you're something below this and you want to be exactly on 9.00 all right don't don't go to your here and don't click this don't go system software update if you're connected to the internet it will just automatically update to the latest one that's not what you want to do you want to go into safe mode all right so how to do that you need to um i might have to do this off camera all right, because uh, if I go in safe mode, it won't show up on my capture card. So let me turn on that. All right, so here we're on my computer. You'll need to have a USB stick, okay? So I have mine here, you can see, E drive, okay? And inside, you need to have the folder exactly like this. You need to have, inside the root of your USB stick, you need to have a PS4 folder, all right? And then inside the PS4 folder, you need to have an update folder. All right. Then inside here is where you put your firmware. I can't provide you this. You need to get it yourself. You can search online. It's very easy to find. Okay. So make sure you get the 9.00 firmware. All right. And then go back to the root. You can see here, I also got a file called this something PKG. This is the app that's needed to make backups. All right. I'll leave a link in the description. To download it's called items flow game manager all right this is um needed to install onto your ps4 all right so before we go any further i would also like to let you guys know that i've got a new cooking channel grown up cooking i'll leave a link in the description please go over there and subscribe all right this is another passion of mine cooking other than gaming i also like cooking so i'm planning to upload some videos about my cooking all right, so please go over there and support. And if you like this video, please like this video and subscribe to the gaming channel if you haven't already. All right, let's continue. Okay, so my camera is now on my PlayStation 4. So first, turn your PlayStation 4 off. Okay, we need to turn it off. Okay, once your PlayStation 4 is turned off, make sure you plug in your DualShock controller to the PlayStation 4 and also put the USB that we just created into the PlayStation 4 as well. And then press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps. All right, you'll hear the first beep and then after seven seconds or so, you hear the second beep and then you can release the button and you'll be on safe mode. In safe mode, press the PS button, okay, and then go to update system software, update from USB storage device, okay, and then connect your USB, all right, it should be already connected, press OK. Just wait for it. Be patient. All right. So the following version of the system software is available. So make sure it's version 9.00. All right. And then just click update. All right. And it'll do its thing. So just wait for this. I'll fast forward this part. 
Okay, so after you have updated to 9.00, let's double check it. So go back into your PlayStation and then go to settings. Okay, and then go to system at the bottom. And then system information. All right, you can see we're now on 9.00. All right, let's keep it at this version. Once you've got your PlayStation 4 ready, it's on firmware 9.00. Go back to your computer. Make sure you have this program, Rufus. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go download and install it there. Okay, and then make sure you have a USB drive, a different one. All right, I've got mine here. It's E drive. You can see it's not very big. It's only a four gigabyte. That's enough. All right, it's actually a micro SD card. It's from an old camera. All right, and I have a USB adapter. So that's how I just swap it out. Okay, so uh, get a small one that you don't need, okay? And then in this program, in this program, make sure the device, make sure it's on E drive. So your SD card or USB, all right? Just don't make sure it's not on your hard drive or something like that, all right? Make sure, double check this, okay? And then select here, click select and download. You need to download this file, XFAT hacks, all right? We need this. So it's an image and I'm just going to flash it onto my USB. So you click start and flash it. And that's done. All right, that's that's all we need to do here. All right, now go back to your PlayStation 4. Okay, so back on your PlayStation 4, the first thing you want to do, go to settings and network and connect back to the internet, all right? Um, if you remember, we disabled this before because we didn't want to accidentally update your firmware. All right, so be careful. Now you're on the internet. Okay, go to your internet browser, all right, and click the options button, settings, all right, delete cookies, clear website data, all right, just make sure everything's clear, and then go to your enter URL and enter this URL, all right, caro218.ir, all right, I'll leave the link in the description, just go here to this website, and then click 9.00 gold. Okay, and then wait for the page to cache. Okay, it's caching up here. All right, just wait for it. Be patient. It's not going to take too long. All right. Okay, almost there. It's good that it shows you the percentage so you know it's working. I don't like it when like it looks like it's frozen. Then I kind of panic. All right, now it's done. Like a reopen page. So I'm going to press X to go back, back. And okay, then reopen internet, ex the internet browser. I was going to say internet explorer. All right. That's how, that's how like imprinted on my mind that is the internet explorer. Okay. So 9.00 gold. Okay. And then click here, gold hand version 2.3. All right. Let it load. All right, be patient. I think you get a pop-up telling you to insert the USB. The USB that we just created with the, you know, we flashed the image. Okay, we need to put that into the PlayStation 4 once we get the pop-up. All right, here it is. Insert USB drive and click OK after you see the pop-up notification. All right, so I'm going to plug it in right now. Don't press anything. Just plug in the USB to your PlayStation 4. All right, so it says this USB storage device's file system is unsupported. I think you get this because um, my um, USB stick is a 3.0. I think it's better if you have a 2.0, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to press OK. And then it says jailbreak done. Please remove USB drive and click OK. So I'm going to um, remove my USB and click OK. Okay, and now you see at the top left, gold hand 2.3 loaded. Okay, so that means uh, I can run unsigned code now. So if you go here on the top left, you can see gold hand. Okay, and then you've got all these settings. All right, what we're going to focus on is debug settings and package install. All right, we're going to install that items flow game manager that we downloaded. So I'm going to swap out my USB key. All right, I'm going to swap it out to... 
the one with the firmware and I downloaded the items flow. All right, so I'm going to plug it back into my PlayStation 4 now. And then back, go back to package install. Okay, now you can see it. I've got this item 0001 version 1.03 package. Okay, so I'm going to install this. Okay. All right, it's ready to use. So back, back, back. Okay. Now, right here, I've got items flow game manager. I'm just going to load into it. So this app lets me back up my games and DLCs and stuff like that. All right, there you have it. So you can see my games here. So let's say I want to back up Ghost of Tsushima. Okay, I can go here, dump. Okay, and I can select dump all, or I can just dump the base game only, patch only, remaster only, DLC only, F. PKG, I don't know what that is. All right, so I, normally I just dump all, all right, if you want to back up your stuff. All right, so yeah, that's how you do it, guys. That's, um, you know, if you're worried, uh, I suggest you backing up your digital stuff because Sony can, you know, remove that from your library anytime soon. All right, so if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.